Hi guys, welcome. I am Sarah Fithian with Grand Banks Yachts and today I'm going to be showing you this gorgeous East Bay 46. It is a 2012 model and her name is Madame Papino. She is available for sale. It is June 2021. So if it's around that time and you're interested, please give us a call and we'd be happy to help you. Uh, if you're in the market for a down east uh, style boat or a trawler or a Grand Banks East Bay, Palm Beach or any other long range cruiser or trawler, please give us a call and we would be more than happy to help you find your next boat or to sell your current one or both. <laughs> um, okay guys, let's go ahead and get on and see this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous boat. So here we are on the starboard aft end of the boat. I'm just gonna step on board here. There is one step to get down to the cockpit area. As you can see, there's a straight settee on the aft end of the cockpit. There's a large teak graded swim platform with a fairly good sized door here to exit onto the swim platform. Shore power cord with the cable master. Looking forward, this is the starboard side, now looking to the port side. We'll just go around here, around the decks. One step up to the side deck. There's a nice railing here, a good hip height, non-skid decks. Here we are at the bow. There's three hatches on the cabin top there. Two anchor lockers, anchor platform with one anchor with chain and road and an anchor windlass, so it is electric. Makes it easy to release and gather up again. Here we are looking aft, walking down the starboard side of the boat. She does have beautiful teak tow rails and teak nameplates. This is the FLIR camera, just showing you the top here. That's the overhead sunroof hatch, Garmin electronic radar. Grand Bank stainless steel nameplate. So now going back down into the cockpit area, just showing you the beautiful teak decking here. It looks awesome. Turning forward, we have two storage cabinets and in here in the center is an ice maker and above there is a sink with a cover that matches the countertop. On the starboard side here, there's a chest freezer on top and a storage uh, cabinet below. Let's head inside into the salon. Here we are in the gorgeous, gorgeous salon of this East Bay 46. On the port side here, we have a U-shaped settee. We have a drop-down window here in the back. As you can see, just by the push of a button, it goes down, not this fast. I did speed it up just for your time's sake. Passes right through into the cockpit, which is an awesome, awesome feature on this, on this East Bay. Just rolling it up here. We'll turn back around now to take another look at the salon. This table in the salon actually drops down and becomes a berth. This is always a great feature just in case you have extra people on board. So just by the push of a button as well, this table lowers. You can use it as cocktail height, dining height, or put it all the way down to be a berth. And I'll get the insert later and show you that. On the starboard side, we just have a straight settee there. And forward of that is, you know, you have side table and also liquor storage and glass storage as well. All right, so let's take a look at the helm. Uh, there's one stood helm seat here, this nice beige color. She is powered by Cummins uh, QSC 8.3, 600 horsepower twin engines. She has skyhook joystick control, the engine throttles there. She has Garmin touchscreen chart plotters. I believe these are 12 inches. She has Fleur night vision camera. Um, all of the necessary things needed for long range cruising. All right, so this is, uh, you know, your battery switches, um, anchor, horn. There's a flip down footrest there on the sit home seat, cup holder, your ACDC panel there. So looking over to the port side here underneath the companion helm seat is a storage cabinet. 
This currently has the Bose surround sound system here since it is right behind the TV. On all of the salon windows, there are accordion shades that easily pull down to preserve the interior wood and have privacy as well. This window also opens and slides forward. So sitting here at the companion seat, this chart table opens up and you know, into an actual like table that you can use to dine or read a book or something while cruising and then it folds back if you're not in use of it and actually opens to be used you know, as chart locker. <laughs> Giving you a look on the starboard side here. And again, aft into the beautiful salon, very open and light filled room here. There's a beautiful teak and holly sole and down here in this hatch is a awesome utility space which is that huge for a boat of this size um let me turn on the lights here on the panel get the switch and i'll just stick the camera in there so you can see i won't go down but there's this ladder to get down there's a fridge and a washer dryer, miscellaneous storage. This space is pretty big so you can store a lot of a lot of extras here, cases of water, cases of toilet paper, bikes, chairs, maybe for the cockpit area. Any of your miscellaneous things like that would be that'd be a great space for it. Okay, so before we head down, I'm going to stop right here and show you the control for the sunroof. This is the control here for the windshield and this one's for the sunroof so if you just push it this beautiful huge sunroof opens up this is a great feature for this express boat a lot of people can't see past having a flybridge but when you have four opening windows in the salon area plus the windshield opening it really really does open up the boat allows for sea breeze ventilation it actually helps you to feel like you're on a boat when you're cruising and not um, you know, you're able to feel the elements, which is, you know, part of the reason why we cruise, right? Out on the water. So just showing you what it looks like from different angles, um, lets in awesome wind and breeze. So you can easily just push this button and have it go back. There's also an accordion, um, cover that goes over that to a shade. I also wanted to show you uh, the TV here in the salon, the placement of it. This also rotates, so you can view it easily from anywhere you're sitting in this uh, main deck area. It just hides away into this compartment here. So let's head down here into the companionway and lower accommodations. So here to the port side is the U-shaped galley. It's a good size. It's nice and open, easily accessible, has storage here in cabinets, just with these push latches, has plate holders so they don't bounce around underway, which is awesome. Has a couple there, pantry items, food, yeah, any of that good stuff. There's a one back here as well actually has mug storage glass storage that's good over here is a chest freezer right now it just has drinks in it <laughs> and down here is the regular refrigerator with the ice box um, freezer on top This is a great place for your cutting boards or your pans. They have knives in there right now. There's an electric cooktop with pot holders and a sharp microwave convection oven. So facing forward in the galley is a spice rack, a big deep 
storage area. Looking back here, there's more cabinet storage for glassware, individual slots, which is great, so they don't um, bounce around underway, like I said before, for bowls as well. Right here is the sink with a water spigot. It has a cutting board, also for use as a, like a cover for the stainless steel sink. Down below is just another cabinet for storage. So here we are looking forward in the companionway. So we'll start over here on the starboard side has a pocket door to the guest stateroom. This guest stateroom has two single berths, a hanging locker, and a wet head. Also for use as the day head, there is a door right here on the inboard side, which can be accessed just from the companionway, or you also can close it off and have in-suite access for the guests staying on board. As a teak and holly sole fabric on the cabinet doors. Here are the two single bursts. They do go back underneath this overhead here. This is actually the panel for the insert for the salon uh, that drops down into a berth, the settee there. So I'll actually take that and show you guys in a minute what that looks like. But yeah, that's the very nice guest here. So here we are in the guest stateroom looking inboard to the port side. So we'll just head out here and here we are looking forward. That's the access from the companionway into the head if you want to use it as a day head. Okay, so here we are looking forward into the master stateroom. Here are hanging lockers, a TV on the starboard side porthole there as well, book storage, outlets, reading lamps on both sides. Behind this is also another hanging locker with drawer actually like shelving on one side. So open this door back up into the head and this has its own end suite head install shower Deacon Holly Soul porthole for natural light and a stall shower here with a seems like a, like a plexiglass um, shower door actually I need to unlatch it here at the bottom then you can go ahead and close it. There is storage underneath the berth here in two large drawers. turning around back up into the salon. I will take this insert and show you what it looks like now. Just flops right over here onto this table and it makes a perfect bed. Look at that additional third stateroom. <laughs> Just giving you a couple different angles here of what it looks like all put together. This is a great custom feature of this East Bay 46. All right, so here we are in the cockpit again. I'm going down here into the engine room. This is the hatch entrance, the only entrance to get into the engine room on board. 
I'm looking forward at the Onan generator. It has twin Cummins engines, like I said before. There's a storage um, shelf there, I guess you could call it. Fire system, generator, AC, compressors on this side, battery boxes. It's the Ford engine. Making our way aft. Very clean, very nice space. Here are some built-in shelves here for, um, you know, extra parts or cleaning supplies or anything like that. Here we are just getting another view here and just showing you how much height there is in the engine room. Alright, so you can pretty easily climb out of there. Pretty decent space, not the tightest engine room I've ever been in, and also not the, the largest, but it definitely works. You can just close it here by these little hatch, hatch locks. There we go. Alright, so I've put the cumber back on the uh, city back here in the aft deck. You can see these, notice these stainless steel poles sticking out here on the port of starboard side. That's for an awning that covers the cockpit. It's a removable awning, so you don't want to run with it, but it's nice if you're sitting at the dock or going um, idle speeds to have it up and shield yourself from the sun. I'm just giving you some dock views here, exterior shots. The hull is white, which is not typical for a downy style boat, but I do think it still looks really beautiful. Alrighty. Thank you guys so much for touring this boat with me today. I really enjoyed having you along and if you're interested in this beautiful East Bay 46, please give us a call. Our, all of our information is in the description box down below. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the video very soon. Bye!